Welcome back to The Score, a game that came down to the final seconds between Leo and East Noble. Buckle up, because this is a good one. Bone student section's ready for a crazy second half, and here we go. Leo up 20 to 14 middle of the fourth quarter until Kane and Carrico right up the gut for the touchdown. The Knights move in front 21 to 20. Then Jackson Barber with just over two minutes to go. He will slither his way in with the QB sneak and Leo reclaims that lead 26 to 21. We're not done yet. East Noble making things happen. Xander Brazel finds Rowan Zolman on the screen pass up the sidelines and peace out. 61 yard touchdown East Noble up 29 to 26 after a two point conversion. But Leo comes up huge barber to win the game. He connects with Caden Miller with four seconds to go and that will do it. Leo moves on with a thriller 32 to 29. We stay in Noble County. Central Noble starts its postseason with a game against Whitco. Cougars strike first. Tyler Schistler will take it himself. An easy path to the end zone. Central Noble goes up 7-zip. Late in the first quarter, Schistler rolling to his left. And he'll launch one downfield to Preston Diffendarfer. Good for a 56-yard score here. The Cougars also making some nice plays on special teams in the second quarter. Whitco going for a field goal. The Cougars come up with a block. All around a dominating effort from the Cougars. Central Noble wins this one 49-0. Over to Columbia City. Now the Eagles taking on the Angola Hornets. Just under three minutes into the first Eagles in the red zone. QB Gregory Bolt pushes his way into the end zone for six. While the Columbia City defense also shining Hornets ball, but not for long. Brock Uhr with the in the air interception, and that will eventually lead to this very next play. Now, it's Bolt, and he is wide open. Ethan Shivers, he stays on his feet, trots into the end zone, and Columbia City eventually captures the win, 48-12. to 12.